It's almost as if it was on cue before I could even put the test back. The light in the room turns on. It's your boy DG and welcome your beautiful faces back to another reaction. I'm reacting to Breaking Into My School at Night for Test Answers by Yo-Yo. Let's hop into it. Like 8.30 p.m. at this point. I'm literally behind my teacher's desk holding someone else's graded state final exam. If I get caught, there is literally no logical excuse I can make. It's over. I could get expelled. Maybe even arrested for trespassing, honestly. <laughs> and almost as if it was on cue before I could even put the test back. The light in the room turns on. Yo. I really appreciate you guys a lot for supporting me for real because i made a lot of hard decisions to get here man i spent years working more than 40 hours a week on videos i disappointed my family by not going to college i cut off friends told some pretty personal stories to random people on the internet well it was one foot long and getting yeeted out of your pee but it was all worth it because i'm fulfilling what i believe to be my life's purpose <laughs> but now mr pets that was in your eye Oh my god. Making people <laughs> laugh. Of all the perks that oh come with being god. a YouTuber, this is definitely the most important one to me. It, it makes me feel really good, so I don't regret not one decision I made to get here. Uh, well, well, except for one. Let me tell you about the time I broke multiple laws for the sake of pursuing my passion. Bro, I just woke up by the way. So. This took place near the end of my like, senior year of high school. I was geez. just getting into my channel around this time, so I was struggling with the workload of making videos and also being a student. What I'd do is I'd go to school, edit videos in the morning and during lunchtime, and then at the end of the day, I'd go home, set a one hour timer, and then cram all of the homework from that day within that hour, and then work on YouTube videos up until around 3 a.m. Then I'd wake up at 7 a.m. and do it all over again. I was managing it, but it definitely was not pretty because my grades plummeted. I was barely, barely passing my classes, but I valued oh YouTube God. over school, so I mean, that was good enough for me. Fast forward to the end of the school year and we had to take exams. Exams that I could not afford to fail because of the state of my grades. And of all the tests that I would be taking, the one that scared me the most was my calculus exam because numbers... Numbers are exact. With other classes, you can finesse your way out of wrong answers because the topics are vague. For example, what is the last step of the water cycle? Precipitation or rain? Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue or committed mass genocide? What, what is the, the hidden <laughs> meaning behind to kill a mockingbird? Nobody fucking knows. Vague questions, vague answers. You can't really do that with numbers, bro. Like, two plus two is four. Nigga, if you don't know that, you're getting the question wrong. And we were so deep into yeah. pre-cal that the math tests look like English tests, okay? I still do math on my fingers. I am not catching up. So the thought of that test ate at my soul. But I still mainly focused on pursuing YouTube because that was what I wanted to do with my life. So I think to myself... Yeah, I'll just wing it. Yeah, the test probably isn't even that long anyway. I'll have a calculator. Like, the answer should not be that hard to figure out, honestly. You're right. Even uh, if I fail, nope. I mean, it won't bring my grade down that much. So I keep animating and schooling until one day I'm in class and the bell rings, but my U.S. history credits did not transfer, so I had to take an after-school class to finish it. So the bell rings and all the students leave, and I go to my social studies class. I sit in the back of the class and stare out the door window patiently waiting for Mrs. B to finish grading and leave. A couple hours pass and I hear exactly the sound that I was waiting for. I look out the window and I see her walking away. Game time. So I raise my hand, ask to go to the bathroom and I'm out. So I leave and head for Mrs. B's class. Luckily enough for me, her door wasn't locked. So I open the door to the dark classroom and right before I enter, I stop and think, if I walk into this room, not only would I be betraying the trust of my social studies teacher, but also the trust of a teacher that gave me test answers and an extra day to take the test. 
But I'll also pass high school, so, you know, uh, walk in, don't get caught, whatever, go ahead. So I walk in and close the door behind me. I can't see anything. Kids, don't do this, bro. This is what you don't do. This is another example of not what not to do. Please do not cheat on your test. If you if you know you're going to fail, just take it, bro. Like, this is why you pay attention. Just pay attention in class, bro. Just pay attention in class. You'll be fine. Pay attention in class. I believe in you. If you don't believe in you, I believe in you. So that's enough. Don't cheat. But I didn't want to alert anyone by turning on the light. This is a quick operation. All they had to do was grab one of the graded tests from the tray in the back, God, take damn, a picture of it on my phone so I can use it on the test, and then dip. So I feel my way to the back of the class. I get there, I what find the, the tray, world? but then... <laughs> I feel You're something. like, what in the world is that? Something that wasn't here before. I soon realize that the jig is up. I'm, I'm done for. I turn around because the thing that I'm feeling is an empty test tray. The Ooh. tests weren't in the back of the class, which means now she I have to it. actively look for the tests, which is a problem because I don't want to risk getting caught, but oh, I, I'm in way too deep, so I have no choice but to keep going. So I it's turn on my phone flashlight and I search religiously. I'm going through her desk, file cabinets, everything. The whole time I'm doing this, I'm, I'm shaking, I'm breathing heavy, I'm paranoid. I, I was on edge, okay? I can't stress how much of a high stakes situation this was. I was breaking so many rules but after searching i finally find the test under some papers on mrs b's desk yo yo this is actually working i take pictures of every sheet on that test but now that i had the merchandise i needed to escape like now my anxiety is on 10 because it's like 8 30 p.m at this point i'm literally behind my teacher's desk hold wait why were you there so late what in the world? No, I think no, someone no, else's no, graded no. state. 30 p.m. Final bro, at exam. School, if bro? I get caught, there is literally no logical excuse I can make. It's over. Screw not graduating. I could get expelled. Maybe even arrested for trespassing. Honestly, exactly. it's almost as if it was on cue before I could even put the test back. The light in the room turns on. I feel the coldest chill. Down my spine, I turn around and no one it is there. I, I look around and I realize the lights in the room must be automatic like channel. automatic with the sensor, and I guess it's delayed to save power. I, I never knew that because I was always in the classroom during the day filled with people, so the lights were always on. But I then realized Mrs. B's room is right in front of her parked car. And it's and she night. She could it. very obviously see, see the light turn on. I just got to get out of here now. I make a run for the oh door, but before God. I open it, I hear footsteps <gasps> coming from the hall. GD! You know what footsteps I'm talking about. GD! Walkie talkie. Dangling keys. I'm, I'm compromised because if I walk out now, they will see me. I freeze out of fear. The noise gets louder. Louder and louder, the locked door unlocks, the door swings open, and then... Yo, no way, and I wanted a video was so damn I'm about to bring the because I do not miss. I'm with a shorty, and she with a hit. I am the go, nigga, you get the gist. When I shoot my shot, out. Actually, I don't want them to copyright me, so I'm about to, um... Yeah, we're not gonna listen to that part. I think that's it, right? Should be it. Yeah, that's it. So, if y'all want a part two, once he releases part two, um, I will definitely do a part two to this reaction. It's going to be a short one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely probably should post two videos tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. Anyways, sorry for the later videos. I should have been posted this on Wednesday, but I'm going to try and release at least three videos a week. Make sure to look out for that. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, of course, I'll reach you next to one of you. Peace. Thank you.